What is going on guys, it is Master Rolf here, welcome back to a brand new Clash of Clans video. Today we're going to be carrying on our push to try and get to Champions League. So this is the second episode on this, uh, doing some high level raids and some high level defenses. Uh, in my last episode I was actually in Masters 3 and I am now in Masters 2, so pretty exciting. We've gone up a whole more league and now we only need to get up to, uh, is it 3000 uh, to get to Masters 1 I think, and then 3200 to get to Champions League. So we only need just under 400 trophies, which sounds easy, but it really isn't at this level. It's quite a push. Uh, we're going to be doing a live raid on a random tactic that I'm trying out at the moment, which is Wizards, Archers, Golem, Witches, Valkyries. It's just a mix of everything for a little bit of fun, and it seems to be working pretty damn well, actually. So let's go in and see uh, my recent defense log and my recent attack log. My defenses have actually got me a load of cups recently. Now, I know I lost a few here. Um, but overall, if I have lost those, uh, I've only lost about 17 cups and I've made possibly about 50 something, 60 cups. So uh, my defense is working like a treat. Now what I've noticed recently is uh, most people are trying to actually just get the 50%. They're trying to barge me uh, and it's really not working. This guy here was super, super close. So let's go have a look at Romain's attack. Uh, this isn't a barge. This is a, I think it's a go wee wee actually. Uh, let's have a look at this. So yeah, this is Go Wee Wee. Let's see how he does it. So he spawns up his golems on the left-hand side of the base. This is still the same base, by the way, guys. Uh, still the Chuck Norris base. Going hard, going strong. I was actually going to change it, but I have no need to change it at the moment because it's working well for me. So in go the golems, pushing forward. The Teslas pop up. Um, <clears throat> and also my clan castle troops come out, which is really, really handy for us. They are shooting over at the golems there. And the balloons also are coming over to take out the golems and they drop their bombs on them. They actually do quite a bit of damage, not loads of damage. I thought they'd do more, uh, but they do a pretty good good amount of damage. So he drops down his second free spell on my Expo. Uh, no, sorry, my Inferno Tower actually there. The Inferno Tower drops and he is now trying to push into the center to try and take out this Town Hall. Uh, he's got 35%. The witches have gone around the outside and have pretty much all died. Barbarians have pushed around the left. His king and his queen are still ready, uh, available for him to use, but he hasn't used them yet. The golems have been destroyed in the center by my king, uh, and now he is 15 seconds away. He's got 42%. He spawns up his king and his queen on the other side to try and push for this 50%. Rages them up straight away, which is kind of a daft tactic, but that's what he goes for. The king is dropped straight away. My king is out as well, trying to protect the base. Uh, taking down a few of the barbarians. The archer queen is taken down, and we clutch the defense on 49%. So, I don't know why he did that, um, and he raged up his king and queen straight away, but do not do it. It is really not good. He took quite a bit of my loot, but I secretly think he was actually going for the cups. So, it was a win in my eyes. Alright, now let's watch a uh, another defense. So, this is the barge. Now, I've been actually trying to redesign my base, so I've redesigned my base since this, to try and handle the barge a little bit better. Because as you can see, quite a few of my stuff is around the outside, and they're not that heavily protected. So this is why people are trying to barge me. So you can see he pulls in, first of all, his barbarians uh, to take out this first little corner. He's also got three lightning spells and five wall breakers with him, just in case, I guess, he needs to take out uh, to make sure he gets that 50%, or he needs to break through just one uh, little wall. And the barbarians are coming in first, followed in by the archers, which is the standard barge tactic. Uh, this isn't a max level barge, though. Uh, this is only a level six barge uh, and not a level seven. So that's probably uh, quite a big difference, actually. Now he's attacking from the top, he's taken all the stuff down the bottom right hand side and uh, he's trying to go to the top, but here this is what I've done is I've actually moved my Expos a little bit further out, as you can see all around the base, so they do protect a wider range which uh, definitely does help. I've also put my Queen on the outside to distract and destroy and also my cannons are further out as well. So he's now sitting on the 39% with a minute 30 left for his attack, throws in a few lightning spells to take out the clan castle troops there and then spawns in. Uh, another wave of archers. The archer queen is able to take them down though. Along with that mortar. Boom. There we go. And uh, the balloons are also coming over. Working very well as a distraction. In comes another lightning spell there. <clears throat> and now he's just got a few archers and wall breakers remaining. Where is he going to attack these? I have no idea. Come on. He's, he's really waiting for this. There he goes. There he goes. So he throws a few more archers in to try and take out this elixir uh, elixir pump. Which he does successfully. Bringing him up to 46%. He's really trying to clutch at every single building he can right now. Uh, but I honestly don't know what he's going to do. Throws in a capable, couple more archers to try and take out the balloons. Um, <clears throat> there you go. A wall breaker to take down that first wall. 
And then they take out that air defense. He literally needs probably one more thing to go down. But he gets destroyed and he runs out of troops. So, that tactic has worked well against the Barch so far. But as I said, I have been upgrading my defense so that um, so the Barch won't work. Now, one tactic I've gone for is like this. The cannon now is uh, a lot further on the outside. You can see I've got cannons all around on the outside. Uh, or everything is, destroy uh, is defended by a long-range uh, projectile. So, there we go. We've got cannons. I've also moved my skeleton traps around the outside as well uh, to kind of... To kind of decoy the troops, I guess, with also some bombs uh, so that as soon as they spawn, they get hit. But one thing I've done is I've protected my cannons so they don't get hit straight away. They will go for the Builder's Hut so the cannon has time to kind of destroy anything in its path. Alright, so let's have a look at my attack log. This is what we like to see from the attack log. As you can see, my raids recently have been uh, absolutely flawless. They've been really, really good uh, and I've been really happy with how they've been going. I've been using this weird strategy uh, that I'm going to show you now that seems to be working. It definitely always goes in uh, and gets the town hall, which is, as you can see, what I've been doing recently. So let's go and have a look at um, let's have a look at this one. Uh, oh God, let's have a look at the one where I got the two star first, and then we'll go look at one where we just went for the town hall. <coughs> so obviously up here, everything is a town hall level 10. I throw in my archers just to start off, just to kind of distract and see if there's any bombs initially there. I then throw in a wave of giants followed by a golem, so the golem is in the center of the giants uh, so that they can literally distract all of the Inferno Tiles raids because I found recently when I throw in my Inferno, uh, sorry, when I throw in my golem and he goes up to the Inferno, obviously he only takes one of those beams, whereas if I throw in my giants, they take all the beams, allowing my wizards to push up uh, and not get hit. So it seems to be working pretty well for me recently. Uh, the giants have been dropped in there. I throw in a rage, I instantly break open into that second one and that Valkyrie has rushed in. Taken out that Inferno and the Tesla, um, or Tesla, Tesla, it's really hard to say uh, sometimes. Um, and we've taken down the Town Hall really quick, really easy. His Town Hall was on kind of the outside edge rather than the center, uh, but it worked really nicely for us. And now we're pushing forward to get our 50%. We've got one more Inferno to deal with. The Valkyries have pushed into the center. I'm loving the Valkyries at the moment. They are really, really cool. Uh, they seem really powerful and just really fast and fun to use. Uh, and my troops have started to go around the outside and pushing for that 50%. The king is breaking into that middle uh, sector there while these golems and giants also are. I think they're going to go for the inferno tower, which is really handy for us. Uh, but they're probably not going to make it in time. So the king, the peckers, I rage up the king to get that extra 50%. And then I end it early so we don't waste our king's health. We probably could have gone further and got a few more bits. But it really wasn't necessary for us to do that. So, next up is an attack where I just go for the Town Hall. Now, I actually went for this one thinking, I was like, wow, okay, this is uh, a nice amount of gold. And I was like, if I break into him, we're definitely going to get these two gold storages. Obviously, that was not the case. So, let's go forward and see how this works. Again, I throw in a few giants and they go straight for that mortar, which kind of annoyed me. So, I threw in a wizard uh, to help them take out that mortar. And then I throw my giants in a nice line again. Uh, I actually forget to throw my golem out with them this time. So I throw it out a little bit late. The wall breakers go in, followed by the wizards, then the Valkyries. Some more wall breakers to break down that second wall. Uh, I throw a heal spell in as well because that can heal up my giants. Uh, king, queen, wizards, another Valkyrie, Pekka, and then more wizards. And then the golem comes in. Um, pretty late to the game. I shouldn't have really thrown him in at all, to be honest. But uh, I did throw him in about now, I think. There we go. Um, so, we have now been raged up. I put two rage spells in the center. We are going ham at the uh, defenses just around the town hall. We've broken into the town hall compartment. The Pekka is working on it there, as you can see. The Pekka drops it. The Golem takes front front foot to start uh, distracting the troops the queen is going for everything taking down the infernos i honestly thought we would have got more loot and possibly even got a 50 percent uh, but it didn't go like that and probably one of the biggest reasons was because of the golem uh, not going in first but you can see the golem's working hard now i throw in a few final archers and that is that so what we're going to do now is we're going to jump into the clouds we're going to go do a live raid and hopefully we're going to get a one two or even three star so let's see what we can find uh, we want to find something where the town hall is slightly to the side because that's obviously always a little bit easier if the town hall is um, kind of out on the side. Or we're looking for a base that's easy to take down because its buildings are either very low level, uh, not like this one. Actually, this is quite low level buildings. Um, this is definitely low level buildings. Should we give this one a go? Uh, let's give this one a go. So, we're going to uh, throw in, first of all, like I said, we throw in my... Uh, giants to take out any bombs. There's no bombs, which is great. Uh, so then we throw in all the giants, go inside, 
followed by the golem, followed by some more wall breakers in there. There we go. And now we throw in our wizards behind that. I'm going to throw in the Pekka with the Valkyrie. I've actually got, I brought my witches this time. Damn it. Instead of the Valkyries. That could uh, be a little bit costly. Uh, we'll throw in some more wizards now. My king. My queen. We're all going into this center compartment. And hopefully we're pu pushing forward. As soon as we can take out that Inferno Tower. There we go. The Inferno Tower's drops. Drop a heal spell down as well in there. Uh, some of my troops are actually all going. They're all going around the outside. Which is really not handy for us. Uh, we just want them to make sure they take out that town hall. I'm going to throw in some archers for just the lols. Why not? Uh, and there we go. The town hall's been dropped. We're going to push forward and get that 50% as well as we just got there. I'm going to rage up my king. Where is my queen? Where's my queen? All right, she's still alive. Uh, the golem's going for the inferno tower. I wish the queen was going for that inferno tower, but she is not. Uh, the golem is still pushing hard on it. Uh, we're kind of pushing around the outside. This could potentially be a three star, actually. Uh, this is going pretty well so far, so let's carry on pushing forward. Uh, the Queen's pushing on the left. We've got Witches on the right. We've got a couple of Golemites. To be honest, actually, this probably won't be a three-star. Uh, we're dropping troops, and we haven't got that many powerhouses left. We've got a couple of Witches, a couple of Wizards remaining, uh, but nothing really enough to uh, destroy this base with our remaining troops. We actually, no, we only have the Queen left now, so let's, uh, let's rage her up and end the battle so that she gets a little bit more health. And there you go, another successful 2-star, another successful 12 cups. We are now pushing our way forward to 2823 and trying to get up to that Masters uh, Masters 1 next. And then we've got the Champions uh, to get up to. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please do leave a like, link, link, please do leave a like down below. And also comment what troops you think I should use at this level. Do you think that's a good army competition? Do you have anything that kind of could improve it? Uh, or even save Elixir, save Dark Elixir, etc, etc. But thank you guys so much for watching. Until the next episode, peace out.